Hi, I'm Ross here at Glowshift, and today we're going to be going over step-by-step -step instructions on how to install our 3-in-1 combo gauge into our Ford Super Duty with a 7.3 liter diesel engine. We're going to be going over the proper locations for our 60 boost, an exhaust temperature gauge, and a fuel pressure gauge. Our 3-in-1 combo gauge comes included with all the necessary sanding units and wires in order for the gauge to operate properly. The first step you want to do is make sure that you disconnect the battery from the vehicle just as a safety precaution. You want to disconnect the negative side of the battery and put it off to the side. What you want to do is you want to drill and tap the intake manifold right before it goes into the engine in order to mount up the supplied barb fitting into the intake manifold. What you have to do here is you have to first loosen up these two clamps that come off of this inner core pipe. Once you get these clamps loosened, you can remove the pipe and this rubber coupler in order to access the opening for the intake. With the pipe and the rubber boot out of the way, you want to take a clean rag, sit it inside the intake opening to help try and collect any type of particles that may fall into the intake. Now that we have that there, you want to take a drill bit and drill the hole right into the intake manifold. You want to start off small and then go up to the size R for the 1 8 MPT drill and tap set. Now that our pilot hole is drilled, we're going to go up to the drill bit letter R and continue to drill our hole. Now that our hole is drilled, you want to clean off any shavings that may be around it before we pull out the rag. Continue to pull out the rag, trying to collect any shavings that might be in the way. Now what you want to do is you want to grab a shop vac and clean out any remaining shavings that may be in the intake manifold. Now that we have the hole drilled in the intake manifold, we're going to take our 1 8 NPT tap and tap the hole. Now that we have the hole in the intake manifold tapped, we can go ahead and install our supplied boost fitting that came with the 3-in-1 combo gauge. All you have to simply do, thread it into the intake manifold. Tighten it up. You want to make sure just to snug it up. You don't want to go too tight because the soft metal with the aluminum will strip out. Once you get that tight, you want to go ahead and take the supplied wire that came with it, plug it into the connector, make sure it's pushed in all the way, run the wire over to the firewall where it's going to be going into the cabin. Then what you can do is reconnect your black coupler and tighten up your hose clamps. We're now ready to go on to our next step. For our EGT gauge, we're going to be installing the exhaust probe into the downpipe coming off of the turbo. That way we don't have any metal shavings going into the turbo itself. 
We're going to take a small drill bit and drill a pilot hole in the location that we want to put the probe in. And then move up to the letter R drill bit for the 1 8 MPT tap set. Now that our hole is drilled, we're going to take our 1 8 MPT tap and tap the hole in the exhaust. We're going to take our EGT fitting and thread it into the exhaust pipe. You want to tighten the fitting with your wrench, making sure not to over tighten the fitting in the exhaust. You want to take your exhaust probe and slide it into your fitting so that the tip is approximately in the middle of the exhaust pipe itself. Once the tip is adjusted, you want to then tighten up the ferrule fitting. And then run the wire up to the firewall itself. We're going to make sure that if we have to go through the firewall, there is an available grommet that we can pass through so that it doesn't damage any of the wire. With a 3-in-1 combo gauge, we do have the ability to read a pressure reading. We're going to be using that to read our fuel pressure on our 7.3 today. What we're going to do is we're going to take a 3 16 Allen wrench and remove the plug that is on the fuel filter housing itself. When you remove it, there will be some fuel oil that does leak out, so make sure you catch it with the pan and then just clean off the engine before starting. Now that we have the plug removed, we're going to go ahead and attach the fuel pressure thread adapter to our sending unit itself. Just thread it on by hand. Take two wrenches and attach them outside the vehicle because of the space constriction. It's a lot easier. You want to make sure that you have. <clears throat> you want to make sure that you have it tight enough where it doesn't leak, but not to over tighten it to strip the threads out. Now that we have the thread adapter attached to the sending unit, we're ready to install it into the fuel filler housing. I'm going to get it started. And thread it in. Now that we have it threaded into the housing, you want to make sure that you tighten it up with a wrench so that it doesn't leak. There is an O-ring on there so that it should seal it up and you don't need to use the Teflon tape. Now that we have the sending unit tight into the fuel filter housing, we're going to go ahead and plug in our connector right to the back of the sending unit. Then we're going to route the wire underneath the intake manifold along with another harness over to the firewall. 